Coach, uh, how difficult do you feel it was for Derek to get into a rhythm tonight with uh, you guys running the ball a lot, obviously, and, and probably not calling his number very many times as design runs? How much you feel it was a struggle for him getting just in a rhythm in general? Uh, I thought he was in a pretty good rhythm in the first half. I thought he played well in the first half. Um, you know, everybody's going to point the finger at him. That's, I mean, that's just part of being the quarterback, right? Uh, we didn't have anybody do anything <clears throat> right in the second half. So it's hard to get into a rhythm when you're three and out and, you know, and punting. So, you know, you, you get a big lead in the first half. I think, you know, we had the ball six times in the first half, scored on six drives, um, you know, played well. Um, you know, these games are tough. You know, we wanted to go out and, you know, put one or two more on them and then play everybody. And unfortunately, we couldn't get into a rhythm offensively. And, <clears throat> we weren't able to do that. I wish I would have done it anyway, but um, none needed the work. And you know, thought we got the good work in the first half, didn't get anything done in the second half. Dana, on offensively, offensively, that is. Yeah. Defensively, is a different story. Um, on offense, Dana, was, was <laughs> it execution? Was it some things that maybe they did differently, or did you just feel no, like? No, it had nothing to do with any of that. It had everything to do with our mentality coming out of halftime. I thought our halftime was bad. I thought our body language was bad. I thought our effort was bad. Uh, <clears throat> we thought we had done enough in the first half, and we wanted it to be over. Uh, defensively, we were still motivated. We went out there and we played well on defense. You know, we, get, we took advantage of our snaps. We played well. <clears throat> you know, we forced a couple of turnovers and, you know, forced them to punt a little bit. Uh, gave up that big one late, but that's against, you know, second and third team guys that we felt like it was appropriate to play them. Coach, with the offensive line, uh, obviously there was a little bit of uh, mixing and matching going on, getting guys experience, but there was also, uh, I don't know, Jared Williams, if he played, didn't play long. Uh, Jordan Boatman, they said, maybe potentially started the game off. Do you, you guys have any injuries, anything major going on <coughs> in front, or were you just tinkering there? Yeah, Jared, uh, he had that high ankle last week, you know, and, and went down and came back and played, but you know, typically after the games, they swell they, they, they swell up. So he didn't rep at all this week. So Justin Murphy played right right tackle. Uh, Dennis Boatman played right guard. <coughs> I thought they both did well. Uh, I don't know what um, uh, Murphy did, he, hamstring or something. I don't know. He, but he ended up going out in the fourth quarter. And <coughs> we ended up putting Boatman in at that point. Last week, but Moba, was there anything with that? Or yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, we're, he's got a red shirt, so we're trying to red shirt him. If we, you know, we feel like we got enough backs, um, you know, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Same conversation with Tune. Same conversation with Atlas Bell. You know, Curvin. There's a handful of them that. <clears throat> that those are just guys that have them available. We have all these freshmen that you know we're going to try to obviously do the same thing with. If you can continue to get them better play them four games throughout the course of the year when we need them, it's the right thing to do by the kid. So, you know, Mulva's not going to graduate until, you know, January of 2021 or whatever it is. So, <clears throat> you know, if we can do it, I'd like to do it. I mean, he showed last week that he could be a force and uh, that he could be a potential starter for us. Uh, Patrick will be back next week. I could have played him, but there's no sense in, in, in risking what he did. Uh, he'll be back next week. Um, if I can save Mulba and just play him when we need him throughout the course of three more games the rest of the year, it would be awesome to be able to have him back next year. I, there's no guarantees on any of that. You never know what's going to happen, but don't waste the games when you don't need to waste the games. I thought Kyle played well. I thought he played well. You know, he's over 100 yards. I think it was in the first half he was over 100 yards. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, he has his first career 100-yard game, so I was very happy with the way Kyle played. <clears throat> you know that we wanted, we didn't want to keep playing him because we got some other backs that could go in there and play. I thought Chandler did run good. He can't put it on the ground. That was unfortunate. You know he almost had 100 yards, and Keelan came in and played okay there in the fourth quarter as well. Coach, what about what about just getting these two these two down now next? <clears throat> Next game, how do you prepare, get the guys ready, turn the page, and, and move on with this tough stretch? 
Well, uh, yeah, that's one reason why we wanted to play as many people as we could. You know, I didn't want to really go very fast, and I don't know how many plays we ran. Uh, 69 again, which is about what I was shooting for. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, you, you got to save the snaps if you can save the snaps. And there's it's four games in 19 days. Nobody wants to hear that, but it's just – it's true. Six days – you know, six days from now, we'll be in the probably third or fourth quarter, you know, uh, next Friday night. So, uh, and then six days later, we'll, we'll be – I guess that game probably be over by now. It starts at seven or whatever, but um, – They've got challenging games ahead. Uh, we're only worried about Washington State at this point. So, you know, I, I do think we made some good corrections and, and um, you know, improved on some things. Uh, <clears throat> and and uh, we got to do the same thing again here next week. I mean, we got to look at this video, and there's not a whole lot of time to work, w watch the video and practice because we're on a short week. But uh, we got to do it and figure out what we did good and what we did bad and make the corrections and – get ready to play a top 20 team here next Friday night. Dana, along those lines. It won't be hard to get those guys ready to play. I mean, we'll, we'll be looking forward to this one. Along the lines, on, on defense, what did you see in practice this week that, you know, kind of, you know, get that taste out of their mouth maybe, and maybe <coughs> the whole team, but specifically defense to, to come out and play as well as they did? I thought we tackled better. I mean, I don't, you know, you know, like I said, I mean, you got to take into consideration who we played. I mean, I don't, yeah, what you want me to say. I mean, I know you think we played really, really, really bad, but the team that we played was really, really, really good. So don't panic and go back to work. And we did, and I thought they communicated well, and and, and, we, and we communicated the, the plays better, and everybody knew what to do, and <coughs> they were motivated, and they played better on defense.